which the government in immediate fiscal measures in order to help me. Will there be any announcement? Because uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Mama Stan said that they are going to announce something. Is there, is there any announcement for me? Well, you see, um, whatever we can do, lah. I mean, when you, you talk immediate announcements, I suppose people are asking whether the, the government wants to intervene directly to defend Ringgit, you know. So far, there has not been a discussion on that uh, because we understand and appreciate a few facts. First is that... Um, uh, we have to recognize that uh, we have to make sure we spend our resources wisely where it matters most. And where it matters most in the long run is building the economic capacity through infrastructure and through the plans and not a short-term measure to defend Ringgit. After all, it's not as if that we have humongous reserve that we can do like some other countries. We don't and we have to accept it. So if we were to decide, if we were to spend katakanlah 10 billion, where do you spend this 10 billion best? Do you intervene in the market or do you build more schools and so on? And I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, uh, which leads to the second argument. Um, the position of the ringgit and also um, stock market now is very much tied to um, the economic reform agenda. It will take a bit longer for people and for the market to start seeing uh, the numbers crystallize because you know this is the situation right the market is aware that some of the um, reform policies are taking place um, subsidy retargeting has been done for electricity and more is coming but that's what the government says they actually have to see the final account to see yes they did save 10 billion and that can only happen by the year end can jadi there's, there's, there's also the lag of time between the policy being announced and being implemented with the numbers being crystallized in the in the headlines numbers kan jadi um, if 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 we take this into account we know enough that there is a lag but when the market understands and it has been proven in government's deficit number in terms of our um, apa nama ni um, subsidy bill going forward by the year end then the market will give due acknowledgement for that reform that has taken and and it will pick up jadi um, that's why I'm a bit apprehensive for anything short term kalau orang tanya why is government doing semua because sometimes I think people forget kalau you intervene directly it costs money it's not as if that okay you go and talk to them and they do uh, defending them uh, intervening directly in the market means taking hard-earned money that we could have put it elsewhere um, and then uh, try to push up um, but we know enough that is the market can jadi uh, we want to focus on the structural reforms um, and we know enough walaupun there will be a lag between the market acknowledging that that part of reform has taken place and it has produced the result, you know, we should stay on this course because um, it's the best um, way to manage this. We don't burn our money, yet at the same time, whatever reform that we do are structural in nature and will last much longer.